Welcome back to Classic Cinema Channel. In the previous section, we discovered the top celebrities from having everything to having nothing. Being homeless is a feeling that is not easy to accept at all. If you were like them, how would you feel? Please leave your comments below in the comments section. I think the next part of this story will have famous people that will surprise you because you didn't think about them. Come explore with me now. Let's go. Sir Daniel Michael Blake Day-Lewis, born on April 29, 1957 in London, England, is hailed as one of the most distinguished and versatile actors in the annals of cinema. Revered for his unwavering commitment and remarkable metamorphoses in roles, Day-Lewis has been honoured with Oscars for his exceptional portrayals in films such as My Left Foot, There Will Be Blood and Lincoln. However, in 2005, the narrative took an unforeseen turn. Day-Lewis abruptly withdrew from a significant film project, citing threats to his family's safety from an Irish Mafia faction. The menacing missive demanded a $5 million ransom, menacing harm to his wife and children if he refused. In a state of panic, Day-Lewis promptly liquidated his London estate and assets to meet the demand, leaving the once iconic star with scarcely anything. Fans expressed profound sympathy and disappointment at this tragic development concerning their beloved idol. Despite the personal upheaval, Daniel Day-Lewis's illustrious career and immense contributions to the craft of acting have solidified his status as one of the most iconic figures in the realm of film. Steve Gutenberg, whose full name is Stephen Robert Gutenberg, was born on August 24, 1958, in Brooklyn, New York. Renowned as an actor and producer, he boasts an exceptional career in the film and television industry. Steve Gutenberg rose to fame in the 1980s, showcasing his talent with leading roles in films such as the Police Academy series, Cocoon, and Three Men and a Baby. With his youthful appearance and humorous acting style, he became one of the iconic stars of the 1980s. Gutenberg's career hit a sudden roadblock when he became embroiled in a major controversy involving the leakage of a personal video. This incident sparked controversy and public criticism. Afterward, Steve Gutenberg struggled to maintain the prominence he enjoyed in the previous decade. Despite continuing to participate in various film and television projects, he faced audience disapproval. Despite the controversy surrounding him, Steve Gutenberg remains a symbol of the 1980s and retains high regard from his fans. His contributions to the era are remembered even as he navigates the challenges that followed in his career. Joseph Frank Pesci, Born on February 9, 1943, in Newark, New Jersey, strutted onto the silver screen like a wise guy with a heart of gold. With performances in Scorsese classics like Raging Bull, Goodfellas, and Casino, he made the mobster life look cooler than a freezer full of gelato. Then, just when you thought he was about to take over Hollywood, Pessy pulled a disappearing act that would make Houdini proud. In 1999, he announced his retirement faster than you can say buggered about it, leaving fans scratching their heads like they just witnessed a magic trick gone wrong. But hold on to your fedoras, folks, because the plot thickens. Rumour has it that Pessy didn't bow out gracefully. He was allegedly strong-armed by some real-life wise guys who wanted him to hang up his acting shoes. Talk about life imitating art. Although his final act left us with more questions than a mob interrogation, Joe Pesci's legacy in cinema remains as solid as a cement shoe at the bottom of the Hudson. He'll forever be remembered as the tough guy with a soft spot, leaving an offer we can't refuse. Timeless performances that'll make you laugh, cry, and maybe even call your mother. You've invested your precious time to join me on this journey. So, don't hesitate to drop a like and leave comment number one below.
William December Williams Jr. Known to the world as Billy D. Williams, was born on April 6, 1937 in the vibrant streets of New York City. He rose to prominence during the 1970s and 1980s, captivating audiences with his portrayal of Lando Calrissian in the iconic Star Wars saga and his memorable performance in Lady Sings the Blues. Despite enjoying the pinnacle of his career, Williams faced a formidable challenge in 1993 when his former talent management company filed a lawsuit against him. They alleged contract breaches and sought a staggering $40 million in damages. The legal battle dragged on for nearly two years, marked by intense disputes before finally reaching an out-of-court settlement. This ordeal cast a shadow over Williams' career and personal life. His financial standing suffered and the scandal left a stain on his reputation. Despite the disappointment felt by fans witnessing their idol struggles, Billy Dee Williams remains celebrated as an emblem of style and diversity in the entertainment realm. His enduring contributions to film and pop culture continue to resonate deeply with his admirers, standing as a testament to his lasting impact on the industry. Born Bridget Jane Fonda on January 27, 1964, in Los Angeles, California, Bridget Fonda swiftly ascended to stardom, becoming a quintessential figure of the 1980s and 1990s film scene. Renowned for her versatility, she captivated audiences with memorable performances in films such as Single White Female, Point of No Return, and Jackie Brown. Towards the late 2000s, Fonda made a sudden departure from the entertainment industry, leaving many fans puzzled and curious about her abrupt exit. Speculation arose, suggesting that Fonda had become entangled in a secretive cult with controversial practices, reportedly becoming involved with the group's leader. It was rumoured that she faced coercion and threats, compelled to comply with the group's ominous agenda. After grappling with these challenges for several years, Fonda managed to break free from the grip of the cult and reintegrate into society. Despite the tumultuous rumours surrounding her post-acting life, Bridget Fonda remains enshrined in cinematic history as a seminal figure and a gifted actress whose impact endures. Clint Eastwood, whose full name is Clinton Eastwood Jr., was born in San Francisco, California on May 31, 1930. He stands as one of the great icons of the film industry, boasting a diverse career that includes acting, directing, producing and composing. Clint Eastwood gained fame in the 1960s with roles in spaghetti westerns like A Fistful of Dollars, For a Few Dollars More and The Good, The Bad and The Ugly. He continued to achieve success with roles in action and thriller genres, particularly in the Dirty Harry film series. Despite his successful career and lavish lifestyle, Eastwood faced controversy in 2008 when he publicly endorsed the Republican Party in a US presidential election event. He criticised Democratic candidate Barack Obama for racially biased statements. Eastwood's offensive comments led to severe public backlash, diminishing his popularity and affecting future film contracts. He became unemployed and lost almost everything. Nevertheless, Clint Eastwood remains an entertainment icon, honoured for his significant influence on cinema history. Michael Schofling, born on December 10, 1960, strutted into our teenage dreams as the swoon-worthy Jake Ryan in Sixteen Candles. But just when Hollywood had him in its clutches, Schofling pulled off the ultimate disappearing act. He bid farewell to the glitz, glam and movie madness, choosing instead to dive headfirst into the tranquility of the great outdoors. Gone are the days of flashing lights and red carpets. Schofling opted for a life surrounded by nature's greenery, 
where the only paparazzi he faces are chirping birds and rustling leaves. He traded scripts for sawdust, crafting his own Hollywood ending in the form of log cabins and woodworking. Sure, he might not be swimming in a pool of gold coins like Scrooge McDuck, but Schofling found something far more valuable. Peace and contentment in the quiet embrace of Mother Nature. Who needs fame and fortune when you can find true happiness beneath the canopy of trees? Jake Ryan may have been a high school heartthrob, but Michael Schofling is the real life hero of his own wilderness adventure. Amanda Bynes, born on April 3, 1986 in Thousand Oaks, California, embarked on her artistic journey at a tender age, charming television audiences with her presence in shows like All That and The Amanda Show on Nickelodeon. Bynes further solidified her fame through notable roles in films such as She's the Man, Hairspray and Easy A. However, despite her accomplishments in the entertainment world, Bynes found herself in the midst of a turbulent period marked by psychological struggles and erratic behaviour. She spiralled into drug addiction, facing a slew of legal troubles ranging from drug-related charges to public disturbances, assault and even reckless driving incidents, including one where she intentionally drove her car into pedestrians. In a harrowing episode in 2014, she set her apartment ablaze during a drug-induced state narrowly escaping death in the inferno. Consequently, Bynes was handed a five-year prison sentence for charges related to violence and arson. Following this distressing incident, Amanda Bynes withdrew entirely from the public eye. Peter Sellers, born Richard Henry Sellers on September 8, 1925 in Portsmouth, Hampshire, England, was a comedic powerhouse with more facets than a disco ball, with roles ranging from the bumbling Inspector Clouseau to the dastardly Doctor. Strange love, he proved that versatility was his middle name, figuratively of course. Sellers strutted his stuff throughout the 1950s, leaving audiences in stitches and directors in awe. But oh, life's plot twists. In 1980, the comedic maestro found himself in a real-life drama when scandalous allegations emerged, leading to a matrimonial meltdown and career turbulence. Accused of improprieties involving a teen and facing the wrath of cancelled projects, Sellers traded slapstick for soul-searching, embarking on a year-long mental health odyssey. Like a phoenix rising from the ashes, Sellers' legacy endures. Despite the occasional banana peel on life's stage, his comedic genius continues to light up screens worldwide. While the curtains may have closed on his earthly performance, he passed away on July 24, 1980, his timeless work ensures that Peter Sellers remains a comedic deity, forever making us laugh, ponder and occasionally snort uncontrollably. Janice Lynn Joplin, born on January 19, 1943, in Port Arthur, Texas, became a prominent musical figure in the 1960s, symbolizing the rebellious ethos of the counterculture era. Initially gaining recognition as part of Big Brother and The Holding Company, she later pursued a successful solo career, renowned for her impassioned vocals and dynamic stage presence. However, Joplin's journey was fraught with struggles stemming from her rebellious nature and embrace of the hippie lifestyle. Her heavy drinking and drug use, including heroin and LSD, took a toll on her health and mental well-being. In a memorable incident, she performed while visibly under the influence, shocking audiences with her vulnerability. Tragically, Joplin succumbed to opium poisoning at the age of 27, leaving a void in the music world and beyond. Despite the controversies surrounding her life and death, she remains an enduring symbol of the cultural and musical upheaval of the 1960s, her legacy continuing to inspire generations with its raw authenticity and unbridled passion.
Thank you for watching the entire video. So we have finished our journey to discover the top celebrities who lost everything. Please leave your opinion below in the comments section. If you find the video interesting, please like and subscribe to the channel to watch the latest videos from us. Thanks.